All right, Doombots. Three down, two to go. This one's going to be ISO 8 class quick start guide for healer. So most of the classes are pretty self-explanatory. They increase damage. They increase uh, multi-hits. They uh, increase control. Healer increases healing, you know, without going into detail. Now, there's plenty of other uses for healer, and you'll find them as we go on. But healer itself is a little more versatile than people originally gave it credit for and while it is great on characters that heal it's pretty good on characters that normally wouldn't heal giving you a little bit more sustainability but let's start off with characters that heal so shuri is clearly a healer five percent active healing active healing kind of got a lot of people confused at the beginning it just means when you take an action that causes a heal that is including passive abilities or procs or triggers. Basically, whenever you or your character heals somebody as, as an effect, not as a um, drain and not as a, um, a, you know, a stack that you place on somebody of a regen. It's just the ability that the character does. So Shuri's biggest heal or only heal technically is on her ultimate however her active healing does trigger on her passive uh, when her turn uh, comes in and raids and it throws a heal to somebody that's true of a lot of other characters but Shuri is kind of the one you can notice it and it just increases the amount it doesn't increase some arbitrary stat if for the sake of the argument if you were to heal somebody for a thousand the 5% increase would make it 1,050. Nothing crazy there until you get to higher numbers. No major deal, but that's kind of how it works. On turn, apply a minor regen, which is 5% of this character or the character who's applying its health uh, regen on their turn to the lowest health enemy. So Shuri doesn't have a great health pool, so this is not incredibly useful at this level, but there are characters with very large health pools where uh, this 5% minor regeneration ends up being meaningful. Another thing is this is one of the only abilities where the level two and level four actively do help this uh, character build out because by increasing that character's health, it's increasing the value of the minor regeneration and honestly, most heals are based on the character's health to begin with, so pretty meaningful. On turn, heal the lowest ally for 5% of this character's max health. So not only does that lowest ally get a minor regeneration stack, they also get the immediate heal that the minor regen will, will do when their turn takes over, uh, when, this, when Shuri takes her turn for this example. Plus another 5% active healing, bringing it to 10. Cool. The last stage is a solid 10%, bringing you to a solid 20% active healing. Relevant. I will also point out on turn, heal the lowest ally for 5%. Well, that is that is affected by active healing. You can look and see the numbers kind of don't matter because it's such, they're so small. But it, it adds up over time, especially the stronger the character gets. Uh, healer is one of those abilities that we've talked about. You don't get so much as you move up, but because level 2 and level 4... Are just max health anyway it can be an incredible increase and that's just for healers if you look at characters who have very big health pools regardless of their speed which some people will tell you if you look at a character with a very large health pool like a Thanos or a, a carnage or venom any character with a ton of health these heals are going to add up over time in a very meaningful way so Without kind of harping on this anymore, let's look at the characters I have healer on, explain away a little bit why I use them there, and hopefully you can kind of see where I'm going at. So, some of these make sense, some of these don't. Um, but I think they are all, I don't think anything here is crazy. Mr. Sinister does have a heal, which is incredibly impactful, so increasing its value is great. Since Mr. Sinister's damage doesn't really scale on his own, he just kind of does it, uh, and only one of his attacks actually do damage, 
there's no real reason to kind of shift from anything else. There's nothing really you can put on Sinister besides Healer, but Sinister does have a giant health pool, so every time he does take a turn, he will throw out a little bit extra health to some of the weaker people. And since he does kind of regen not only himself, but other characters as they go, uh, while it doesn't necessarily kind of active healing, it's more of a health distribution, those heal stacks that are placed by him will end up mattering a little bit more and more. Uh, Carnage. Carnage is another one. One of the reasons I have Carnage on this is if I'm not using the entirety of the Symbiotes team, uh, for example, for a long time I used Black Bolt, Yo-Yo, Carnage, Hela, and Symbiote Spider-Man, uh, Carnage having the heal ISO 8 was enough because of how many turns he would take and how giant his health pool is to keep the characters alive without having a sustainable healer the control I'd have. Uh, so it was a weird flex. That's the same thing with Invisible Woman. While obviously Invisible Woman doesn't have a heal, and she's not very fast, the team doesn't die quickly, the Fantastic Four, or for that matter, any team I use Invisible Woman on. But she has a giant health pool, obviously, because she puts out giant shields, that when she does take her turns, those extra little heal stacks and that extra heal can be the difference between you uh, winning a raid node or you losing three characters and timing out on a raid node. Small little increase, yeah, Skirmisher is also a great option on her, but I've been finding a lot of success with a healer and of course Minerva, even though she does a health redistribution, there is an added heal that isn't affected by heal block on that, plus the heal that happens on her passive whenever a character is killed. All of those add up to be a ton of extra healing. Healer on Minerva is kind of a no-brainer. Some make an argument for Fortifier. We'll get into that in the next video. But ultimately, that's the value of healer. As you're leveling, what I've found a lot of people say is they like to invest healer early to keep their characters alive so they can do harder content. That is totally reasonable. Just remember, you really don't want to push healer too far because that's resources, those are the ions it's going to cost to uh, then spend on a better class. So even if you are going to use healer early, just make sure that you have the resources or you're not so invested that you're going to lose out on what you want that character to have eventually. That's pretty much it as far as healer. Tell me who you have healer on that you normally wouldn't have expected, okay? Leave that in the comments for me. Anyway, have a good night, have a great day. I've been Tony Spangili, and I'll catch you later.